So you're asking yourself, where should I self-host Modic? You know that you want to run your own self-hosting. You watched a few videos, you know how to install it. Maybe even have installed it on a shared host already using Softaculous. But what I'd like to talk to you about is where you really need to be. Now, the hardware requirements for Modic are kind of based on how many contacts you have on your list. Under 10,000, you could probably get away with shared hosting fairly well. You'll have to make sure you really manage your cron jobs, but a simple shared host actually may do you just fine, and you can easily install Modic on a shared host. Um, I've picked two hosts just to kind of contrast a little bit. Um, I'm not affiliated with either, and there will be no affiliate links included. So. The second you hit that magic 10k number though, especially if you're sending a fairly consistent number of emails, you're really going to want to look at moving up to a higher level of hosting. And the place that I would definitely suggest, because Modic just works better if you have those extra resources and you have SSH. Uh, access or um, minimum root access you really want to be looking for something like that so my suggestion for most people who are above that 10k mark or especially if you're above the 30k contacts mark and you're really sending emails especially if you're sending them on a consistent basis you're gonna want four gigabytes of ram two cpus and ssd hard drives for sure and you can do that with this root access solution. Now, the reason I like the root access solution is because if I need to use the uh, terminal client or the SSH client to actually fix something or to get in and just make sure that everything's working right, or for some reason the update didn't work, um, which in my opinion is the worst thing that Modic does is actually not update very well through its front end panel at least you'll be able to fix it in a meaningful way and so i definitely suggest that you find a host that has vps hosting that's where i go you don't need dedicated hosting at this point hit 100k contacts go dedicated hosting heck at 30k you might even want to go a dedicated hosting just so you know that you are stepping on the best hardware and you have no limits to your resources so, a Hostinger has something similar. Let's see what their prices are. Now, these guys are cheaper, but I've never used them, so I don't know if they're any good. Um, but I find out right away is that I can get 4 gigabytes of hard drive, of RAM. I get 4,000 gigabytes of bandwidth. This would be a very acceptable host that at $15 a month. That's a, that's a price you can definitely get behind. Again, I don't know what they come with. Oh, your VPN has has your various Linux installations, so I'd probably either end up, well, I think I would for sure end up Ubuntu because there's some really good support for Ubuntu with Modic. But you just get in there, get behind your architecture. You can have to be a little bit knowledgeable, but there are so many guys who are so willing to help, and I'm going to be really driving down some of these channels um aws is another place where lots of people like to host there are several different ways to to actually host modic that are pretty good and the thing that really gets me again into this is you have that full root access it means you can connect and you can actually control your server 100 percent, which means it's going to be way easier to manage this wordpress is the one that so many people self-host and it's so easy to host WordPress. Modic's a little bit trickier. You have to be a little bit more technically proficient, but not so much more that I think it leaves you out in the dry. And the truth is, this is the only place I've found where when it comes to marketing automation, especially if you want to do a little bit of social media automation, you want to do that email autoresponder and you want to own your data. You don't want to be locked into a terms of service and you want to have a large amount of autonomy for where you're hosted, Modic is your choice. I'm so glad you're here. If you found this video helpful, 
in deciding how you want to host your modic installation, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked or what helped in the comments below. If you know something more than I do, or you can help me do it better, I think it's great when we all learn together. So hit me in the comments also. Or catch me on the, the modic slack. Um, I'm pretty easy to find. Just search my name in the field. Have a great night.